Grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are on the 29th of October. Today, the good God is calling us towards growth, towards life. Today, the two parables, two symbols given to us is from the field of gardening and baking. One is the mustard seed and the other is the yeast. And both mean the same. Humble beginning, but great impact. The mustard seed becomes a huge tree. The yeast, a little bit of it, will put its impact upon the whole dough. So dear brothers and sisters, the Lord God is asking us not to think that my efforts, my way of life, my faith is very little. You just have to live it, the impact will be great. St. Paul in the first reading today says that the seed of faith, the seed of eternal life is already into us. It should, it will shoot up, it will blossom when time comes. So dear brothers and sisters, let us ask ourselves this little question today. When things happen in our life, how do we react to it? Do we think that what we are doing is very, very little? So better, even if it, we don't do it that well, it's fine. If you are not faithful in little, even what you have will be taken away from you. If you are not faithful in little, how can I entrust you with greater things, says the Lord. Look at Mother Teresa. What did she have in her hand? Five rupee coin when she started. She says, if you say that you are a drop in the ocean, do not retain the drop because the ocean will be little less without the drop. So never question what is the impact, my faith, my living of faith, my good works, my service doing to the church, doing to the world, ask yourself, what is the good that I am holding from doing? I should never hold back the good that good God wants me to do. Do it. Mother Teresa again says, I may not be able to bring an impact in all of the world. Fine. But go and ask the person whom I touched that person's life I touched and for him I mean a world. This change means a world, huge. So that is what it is all about, dear brothers and sisters. Things may look little but we should never stop. You are in the choir, sing for the Lord. You may even not be a music player, not be a player, a pianist not be a guitarist, not be a lead singer, maybe one in the huge choir or even one singing in the church. Do it. Do it for the glory of God. Do not think what you are doing is little. Every little matters. You are in the choir, you are a child in the altar service. Altar service, you are in the Legion of Mary, Vincent de Paul Society, Council, whatever, whatever good that you are doing, never stop. Never be determined thinking that what I am doing is very little. If you think it is very little, work hard, but do not think it that way and stop. 
because the Lord God says, the mustard seed, if it is plucked out and kept in hand and not in the soil, it will never become a huge tree. Yeast, if it is not put in the dough and put in the water, it will never impact the dough. It will never help it to become, it to bake. Same. Never stop doing good. Never keep yourself, never hold back yourself from giving the good that you can. Impact will be there. Amen.